Welcome back to the channel, guys, and um, it's a video a lot of people have been asking me to do. Um, it's how I find um, the best Nugents in Football Manager 2021. So the first thing to do is make sure you have uh, you've maxed out your scouting um, your scouting quota. So I've got two scouts coming in. So I've got currently 10 out of 12 slots. Like I said, I've got two coming in. So we will have 20, uh, 12 eventually. Make sure you've always got the maximum you can get to, to find uh, to have the best chance of finding them. Um, what I've just done before I clicked uh, before we clicked start recording is we've taken off all our scouts from all the all the assignments they were doing, apart from one apparently. <laughs> there we go. Right. So we've got a clean slate. This is going to take a fair bit of time. I'm not going to show you how like I'm not going to show you all the scouts, but I'll I'll show a few and then you guys get the gist. And if you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. Um. So the first thing I should what I should mention is. Uh, there's two factors here on where you should send your scouts and how you should set it up. So the first one is find the scout from the scouting pool here, right? Let me find the easiest one to do for me is Eric Larson, and he he's a very good Scandinavian scout. So we we uh, select him from that little um, little box there. Uh, we we send him to Scandinavia. Now what you can do is if you if you find if you prefer it, um, you can send up scouts to like one nation so if you want to send him just to denmark or just to sweden or whatever you can do that you can also send him to a full continent which is um i wouldn't advise it it takes a long time and it, it, there's a lot of so for example he's a scandinavian guy but if you send him to europe and he goes to spain he's gonna have no clue what he's doing so i would just send him to regions that's what i do so scandinavia and um, then you click this little box here this is what i do and then you click age, age, and then it says at most by default, so it'd be at most, and then 21, so you're not getting anyone older than 21, but you'll get everyone younger than 21, obviously. And then you click it again, and you click on scouted potential ability. So this is the trigger for when your scout finds someone and when it'll appear. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky, but try and stay with me. Again, any any questions, put them below in the comments, and, I'll, and I will definitely reply to every single comment, so don't be afraid to do that. If you're a top team, so let's for example, your PSG, your Bayern Munich, or your whatever team you are, but you are now the five star best team in the world, right? And you're struggling to find players to replace the superstars that you currently have. For, let's say we have Neymar in our team, and he's a four and a half star, five star player, because that's where he is, right? He's one of the best players in the world, Neymar. And I'm trying to find the next Neymar. I send a player to South America, Brazil, whatever. And um, it's an attacker, it's a left winger, a right winger, whatever. And I set it to five star, because that's what that is. Five star, four and a half star, four star, three and a half star, three, two and a half, two, one and a half, one. Zero point five stars potentials, right? So you're looking at right these top three. You're looking at four star, four and a half star, and five star. Now, I personally only deal with four star and five star, and this is when it changes. So I'll pick five star. When I'm, for example, we're Barnsley right now, my hometown team. We're four seasons in, so we're like a top four, top six Premier League team. So now, right now, I would use four star because I want, I, I have really good players. And if I do five star, I'm looking for players one whole star better than what I have. And there's not many of them in the game. So going back to Neymar a second. If I find, if I tell my, tell my scout to go and find a player as good as Neymar, he's probably going to come up short because Neymar's a one in a generation player, right? From Brazil. When's the last time Brazil had a player? He's R9 Ronaldo, um, someone like that. So if you're a top team and you have top players, I would probably stay away from five star, right? I would probably be safe and go to four star because four star players at Man City and PSG are absolutely class. Whereas Four star players in the championship, eh, they're all right, but will they will they adapt in the Premier League? Maybe not. So if you're a championship team, League One team, mid table team in any nation, I would probably go five star. But as you progress to being a Champions League team, um, Champions League finalists, best teams in the world, five star teams, worldwide teams, I would probably set it to superb. So for right now, I'm going to go superb. That will make sure your scouts will. Will, so the net will be wider, right? Now, if you're just going for five-star players, the net will be smaller and you'll bring in less players. The bigger the net, the more players come in. So you want to, like, less less restrictive, want to go superb. 
Now, the last part, which is quite important, so make sure you guys um, remember this to do this, is under duration, you want to click ongoing. So it will, it will con continually do it. It won't, it won't get to the end of his job and then just stop. And then you forget to do it and then he's not scouting, you're not finding players. Make sure you click ongoing. So that is one scout, Eric Larson, going to his preferred place, which is Scandinavia. He's finding players at the most 21 and four star potential at least, right? That's at least. So he will find, he will still find four and a half star and five star players. He will. It's just sometimes four star players at a top team are very, very good. Like I said, if you go through our squad, right? Renier, he's absolutely fantastic, right? He's worth 28 million, but he's, he's playing really well in the Premier League. He's, I mean, he's, he, we played Man City and he scored two goals past them. He's brilliant. So if we just look for five-star players, we're going to miss out on players like Renier because he's four-star. We don't want to miss out on players like him, right? Look at Eddie Militao at right back. We don't want to miss out on players like that. So if I can find a four-star right back from Brazil, I'm more than happy to buy him. It doesn't have to be five-star. That's my point. So let's go back to this. Next one, we'll look at Luciano Canepa. I think that's how you say him. Canepa, Canepa, whatever. Uh, this guy is a South American scout, by the looks of things. And if you don't know which region, um, not, not region as in like players that come through academies, I mean like the region in the world, the region of the countries. If, you, if you're not sure where they are in the world, this is a quick, easy way to find out. So, for example, let's say you don't know where Paraguay is. You know it's in South, Afri South America, but you don't know if it's which side it's on. So if you go to the country, you go an overview, general, you can find it there. So it says South America East. Now, I know all these countries are South America East. So this is where I'm sending him, right? South America East. So we click new assignment. We find him from the scouting pool. Can you put? We click on scope. We find him to the region. South America East, yep. Yeah. We click that. And then this, like I said before, four star. This is probably going to take a long time. And it's like anything on Football Manager. The more time you put into it, the more you'll get out from it. So... If you can set aside 15, 20 minutes tops um, at the end of a season or even just middle of a season, because we're in the middle of the season, we've just passed January and I'm wanting to redo them. Every single time you upgrade your scouting team, you'll have to do it again, but it's very much worth it. You can find players for 500k, less 200k, a million, two million, five million, and they'll be worth a lot in the future. So it's definitely worth it. I'll show you a few players I've found for this method in a second. Um, and that's two scouts gone, right? Make sure you change it to ongoing. God. Now, another thing you can do if you want is you can set a scout to find each position. I personally don't do that. I let them just find anyone. And then I put them in the under-23s, loan them out if possible, uh, mentor them, um, whatever I feel is the best thing to do. And then when I finally get them to a good personality by mentoring and training, um, I'll send them out to, uh, to get first-team football. And then when they come back, they should be ready. So that's what I do. I've, I've showed you two. I've showed you a Scandinavian one and a South American one. Um, f make sure you find scouts that can go to Africa, especially West Africa, where your Ivory Coast, your Ghanaians, um, your Senegalese uh, Nugents are. Make sure you find um, make sure you find scouts from there. Also, make sure you find scouts from um, Asia. I think it's East Asia, where it's like your South Korea, your Hyung Min Sons, all those guys. Um, make sure you find scouts from there and obviously Central Europe, Eastern Europe, Southern Europe, all that stuff. Um, if, if you really want, if you're a top team and you have loads of scouts, you can double up so you can send two to each region. Or if you want, you can um, you can send one to each and cover everywhere in the world. But there's probably less chance of finding players, for example, to the Middle East because it's like it's, it's just a rare, it's a rare uh, place to find a good player from. But that's up to you. It's up to you. Your, your choice, whatever. Now, coming to the players that I've found through this method, uh, the biggest one, the most important one, I would say is, I'm not sure if he's arrived just yet. I think he might be out on loan. Let me find him. Uh, Diakite. So, this guy, before I click on him, let me show you him. Sorry, before... <laughs> that did make sense. Now, he's just... He's just... He's, apparently, he's... Um, He's declining a little bit. And I don't think that means he's declining because let me show you exactly what I mean. In fact, I can't because he's not at our club. 
Um, I'll show you someone else in a second. But this guy, he's 18 years old. He's from Ivory Coast. We got him from ASEC um, for 230k. We're loaning him out to SM Can, right? He's had a brilliant season. He scored past PSG. I remember the scout report coming back. He's played left wing. And he came... And honestly, he was a shadow of this. But my scout found him in Africa as a four-star player. And I think he'll become better than that. But this is one of the this is the one I'm showing you. So I would never have found him otherwise. Now I know this I know this is a club that you should put on your list um, to look at every single year, ASEC Mimosas in Ivory Coast. They've got very, 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 very good youth recruitment rating. They've got exceptional youth recruitment, excellent academy coaching. So make sure you check them out every single year. Um, the other one I found, and I, I don't know where he is, and maybe he's not joined yet. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. I think he's not joined yet. So, yeah, so Scandinavia from Bordeaux Glimt. I think it's this guy, Jostein Ashheim. Right, he's 16, and he's absolutely brilliant for 16, as you can see. Now, he happens to be a five-star, but he's rated up against Asensio, which is four-star, and Asensio is absolutely brilliant for us. He's worth 53 million. He's had a bit of an injury problems, but he's one of the best players in our team. So this guy is going to be special, right? If he's rated up against Asensio, and he's, um, he's at least Asensio's level, so he's at least four, with a... Possibility of being four and a half, five star. If we can, um, if we can crack that little star at the end, the the white one. If we can get him perfect. If we can get his personality to be perfect. If we can um, mentor him in training. If we can give him all the game time possible, and max out his full potential ability. He has the potential to be as good, if not better than Marco Asensio, for the very small cost. I mean, how much should we pay for him? How much should we pay for him? Where is it? Transfer? 1.5 million. 1.5 million. I mean, I, we, all like finding a player like that, it, for the sake of what, spending 15 minutes setting your scouts up, definitely worth it. Um, another one we found is Danny Gallego from Colombia. Look how good he is at 17 years old. You don't find players like that. He's six foot four as well. He's, um, he's, he's four and a half star. He's rated up against Renier. So he could be as good as him, if not better. Again, look how much he cost us. £1 million. It, it's, it's just it's such a good way to find players. And I don't want to ramble on too much, guys. If you've got any questions, put them down below in the comments. If not, there's, um, if you find my Twitter, the link will be down below. Or my Twitch, I'm streaming every single night. Um, please come and, drop, come and drop us a follow if you've got a bit of time. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel because we're going to have plenty more videos like this as well. And until next time, guys, goodbye.